All right. Right? Okay. Hello, I'm Fritz and I'm the Baby Bed Company together with my business partner, Brenda. Thank you for buying our product and I would like to show you now how to assemble the product after you've taken it out of the box. The hardware kit is on my table here. Uh, all the pieces are lined up and uh, I'm going to put the unit together to give you a better idea how this all works. Okay. The first thing to do is <clears throat> we take our four dowel pins and put them into the threaded inserts in the frame. Everything goes in gently and smoothly. One, two, And the next two go into the straight piece that is sitting here. Nope, not the wrong side. Yeah. Okay. And number four goes in. We are looking at the bottom side of the baby bay now. And uh, you can tell that from those wheel bore holes sticking up in all the frame pieces. Okay. Um, the assembly now <clears throat> goes as follows. We take the four barrel connector connectors, these are 14 millimeters, um, about 7 16 diameter barrel connectors, and put them in the big holes in the straight piece so um, the thread sticks up in the barrel connector and the through hole is pointed towards the other frame piece. And here goes one, and here goes two. They go in smoothly without rattling and we check that everything goes together. That means the barrel connectors line up with the dowels and it looks like I'm going to push my barrel connectors a little bit down further to really line up with the dowels which I've done now. Okay, let's try again. Okay, everything lines up now. Next thing to do is take a Phillips head number two screwdriver and one of these little pointed set screws and go back to the barrel connectors and check that the dowels are in the centers of the barrel connectors. So when those little set screw comes down, it pulls the joint together. The top looks good. Let me check the bottom. Bottom looks a little bit tight. Turn the dowel out by one half turn. Still a little bit tight. Other half turn. Now it looks good. Okay, I'm going to move around a little bit. I'm facing the camera. Okay, first set screw. Nah, this one comes out one more half turn. Okay, first set screw goes in. And you screw it down. And you can feel how it pulls the joint together. This is really tight, assembled correctly. This will never come apart. We do the same thing on the bottom side, put the little set screw in, the dowel is already lined up correctly, and also this joint is tight. Okay, uh, We do the same thing with the second frame, we take our remaining two barrel connectors, 
put them in the big 14 millimeter holes and push them down with our little Allen wrench that came with the package. And the bottom one pushes down. Okay. And we check the alignment of our dowel pins again. So the borehole in the dowel pin does not quite reach the center of that barrel connector to make for a joint that is pulled absolutely tight. Bottom can come out a little bit more. Everything looks good. Okay. We put in our top set screw with the Phillips head screwdriver. And that's the only tool that you need to assemble the baby bay besides what is in the package. Okay, the frame is assembled, it's tight, it's straight, and it will never come apart. Now to put the plate in, the best thing to do is, we are looking at the bottom side of the baby bed now. I'm turning the bottom side with those big wheel holes where the caster wheels can be put in if you would like to have them. Towards the camera, uh, I'm taking my base plate and these mounting brackets of the base plate go on the bottom side of the baby bed. And now <clears throat> we take a tape measure and measure the distance from the floor to the top of your mattress. Typically this distance is about 29 inches. So I'm going to move my plate up 29 inches from the floor, a bit higher, 29 inches, leave it there and take one of my side brackets, put a 8 millimeter screw through it and Put the screw into the threaded insert and just tighten it a little bit because we still want to be able to move our plate a little bit back and forth up and down to obtain perfect alignment. Okay, this one put the other screw in. And just tighten it gently, not really snug, just to have a little bit of clamping force there. Okay. Um, again, we take the tape measure to align everything to approximately 29 inches. It can sometimes be 27, 28, somewhere in that general dimension. Okay. Okay. Now we flip the unit around to mount the rear clamping brackets. And these are the only two hardware pieces that are left that still need to be assembled. So we take another eight millimeter screw and put it in the threaded insert. And here goes the fourth mounting bracket. Now I'm taking the little Allen wrench. It's a four millimeter Allen wrench that came with your hardware kit. And I just tighten these a little bit so I can still move the plate back and forth and up and down for the final alignment. Okay, 
Now we want to set the plate really precise to, as I said before, 29 inches from the bottom and I'm going to move it until I have 29 inches all around from the bottom of my arc frame here to the top of my baby resting plate. Okay, all around 29 looks pretty good. Okay, everything is 29, everything is straight, squared up. You take the little Allen wrench now and start tightening the brackets. Not pull it com don't pull it completely tight in the first round, just snug. The wood is a natural product, it settles a little bit. So we do one round. And then we take the long lever arm of the L wrench and give it a final twist. After a day or two, it's always good to check the tightness of that connection so nothing can move because wood is a natural product. It's a little bit soft, it settles. But the baby bay is completely assembled now. and ready to be attached to your bed. Okay, now comes the next part of the movie which we're gonna do at home. Okay, 